On the quantum experience, you have access to a number of gates that you can use to build your quantum algorithm. A gate is any operation that changes the state of the qubit. Physically, how we perform a gate is by applying microwave pulses that are carefully calibrated and on resonance with a qubit transition frequency. I'm going to tell you about three gates that you can use, two single qubit gates and one two qubit gate. An easy way to visualize the action of a gate is to picture the qubit as a vector pointing along the surface of a sphere. When the qubit is in the zero state, it points to the north pole. In the one state, it points to the south pole. A superposition state could be anywhere lying along the equator of the sphere. The first gate that you might want to use is the X gate. This is a bit flip gate. When the qubit's in zero and you apply an X gate, this will rotate the qubit by 180 degrees around the X axis to the one state. In order to generate a superposition, you can use the H gate, a Hadamard gate. What this gate does is it performs a rotation around the X plus Z axis that takes the qubit from zero to the superposition zero plus one. If you apply a second Hadamard gate, that will rotate the qubit back to the zero state. Finally, you want a gate which can generate entanglement between pairs of qubits. You can do this with the C naught gate. What this gate does is it performs conditional rotations on a target qubit depending on the state of a control qubit. Assume Q0 is a control qubit and Q1 is our target qubit. If you perform a C naught between Q0 and Q1, when Q0 is in the zero state, nothing happens to Q1. When Q0 is in the one state, Q1 rotates by 180 degrees. So if Q0 starts out in a superposition state, 0 plus 1, and you perform a C naught, the final state will be 0, 0 plus 1, 1, which is a fully entangled two qubit state.